Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with a, another review and kind of a, a birthday haul video. Uh, today is my birthday, yay! And uh, went seeing The Expendables 2 this afternoon, and it was actually pretty funny. If you've not seen that movie, uh, I advise go checking it out, especially if you're a guy. If you like action flicks, uh, a lot of tongue in cheek. It's a great afternoon kind of film. I don't know if I'd go see it at night, pay the uh, full admission price, but. Uh, definitely something fun, especially maybe Saturday afternoon or something. Uh, lots of good stuff. Uh, you get Terminator jokes. You get uh, Rambo jokes. You get Die Hard jokes. Um, you even get Chuck Norris telling a Chuck Norris joke. Plus, it's so incredibly violent. It's it's just good fun, good fun. So uh, check that out if you're at the theaters this weekend. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and um, it's definitely a, a fun little romp. So... You know, and I mean, I got back to the house and everything, and a friend of mine, uh, him and his girlfriend, had picked a couple of little things up for me, which was kind of nice. Um, one was this Batman Detective Comics uh, notebook, uh, essentially. Um, he knows I'm a writer, and, uh, um, you know, Batman's a big thing for me. And uh, on it's a double cover, which is kind of nice. Um, on the one side, we've got the Batman's 30th anniversary issue um, with uh, Batman holding up his uh, first appearance book and then one with the Batman Robin on it. Um, Batman number one. And it says, well, Robin, ready for another 30 years. And then Robin's now at the bottom saying, you bet. And then over to the side, we've got the Joker and the Penguin saying, so are we, which is kind of fun, kind of cool. Really nice, really neat. Uh, I dig that. Very cool. And then on the back side, it's got the 80s style Batman um, with kind of the new logo at the top, which is very cool. Very nice. So that'll be something sitting on my coffee table just for fun. A little nice deco. Another thing I picked up, which is kind of cool, is this big giant thing. Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. It's a giant peel and stick decal. One of those things you put up on uh, the wall. It's a picture of it there. Pretty neat. Of course, it's Amazing Fantasy, first appearance of Spider-Man, which is very nice. Um, I've never had one of these things. And I've actually, I'm going to have to put it in a frame because I've got the little textured walls, so this thing's not going to stick to it. Uh, but it's movie poster size. It's 24 and a quarter inches by 17 inches, so I'll be able to get a poster uh frame for it, and I'll put it in there, and it'll, it'll look nice. It'll look like a nice giant cover poster, so very cool, very neat, um, very awesome. Thank you, uh, Corey and Heather, for that. Very nice. And the, other, uh, the other thing I got, which is very cool, is the Married with Children DVD box set. I'm a huge Married with Children fan. Uh, loved it growing up. Uh, absolutely hilarious. This is the complete series, and I love how it's got the wallpaper of the house and the family there and just kind of, oh, let's open this little puppy up see what's in it um, we got more picture frames with uh, images from the show on there with Jefferson Marcy um, this yep Steve's on there so everybody's everybody is present on the cover there and then of course we've got the Bundys on that side again when you open it up of course we have Pegging out, very cool. And then on the insides, we have Kelly over there. And of course, we know who's going to be on this side is Bud. Very neat, very cool. And the funny thing about this set, and you kind of see it here with Kelly, it's basically just a, a spindle of the discs. So you get this kind of cheap cardboard holder piece, and then You've got all the discs on a spindle. So it's 32 discs, uh, all 261 episodes. And I'd gotten this for a friend of mine, actually, uh, for Christmas last year. And just lots of fun watching, finding your favorite Bundy episode and sitting there drinking a beer and just enjoying some uh, good old Al Bundy. And the funny thing is uh, they do not use the... Um, theme I think until later on in the series on the discs because it's like the 
Muzak version of the theme in the beginning because they didn't want to pay the rights to Sinatra's um, song. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, it's really, really bad, too. Uh, it's just good god-awful. But, yeah, there it is. Very nice, very fun. I'll be having some beers and watching some Bundy later. Very cool. Got to dig the Bundys. And then the other thing that was kind of nice, I, when I was heading to the movies, I uh, um, stepped out on, on my porch was this little envelope here, which is very cool. We got this little postmark, the Royal Mail, came from England. Um, I kind of like that. I've never actually gotten anything from England, so it was kind of interesting to see that little stamp there. Um, I like, find stamps interesting for some reason, but I don't collect them. Just kind of interesting. But a uh, buddy over in England, Sean, he sent, he picked this up for me uh, upon request. He said they had these uh, at Forbidden Planet, and they were autographed by Tony Lee, who's one of the writers of this series. If you don't know Tony Lee, he's a, he's a comic book writer. He's done a lot of stuff over in England. He's from England, and he's worked with uh, Marvel Comics and DC Comics and IDW Comics, and he's one of the three writers um, in, in this series here, and I'm presuming so because uh, he has worked with Doctor Who before. So, uh, very cool. Uh, Tony Lee's signature there. And this was kind of neat. Uh, Forbidden Planet signed. So they get their own signed series, which is very cool. We don't have a comic book store that's big enough around here in Indiana to do that. Uh, and IDW is really cool at doing little custom things for comic shops. Uh, they... Um, uh, they do, they'll put local comic shop co on the covers, like Godzilla number one was like that. One of the comic shops around here, uh, Comics University, has picked up a couple of those, which is very cool, very nice. But I've never seen the signed series, um, which is very cool. They just put the logo up there and then the website. I'm presuming that's probably um, multiple shops around probably do that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we got the and it's the incentive cover, the black and white cover, which is nice because I didn't have this cover. Uh, although, doesn't Picard kind of look like a wino in this or a clown or something? Kind of clownish, winoish looking. And then, why does Doctor Who look like Kirk? Looks like a young James T. Kirk. Yeah, kind of weird, kind of strange. The other cool thing is on the back of the comic. This is pretty awesome. We got people like us still shop at. Forbidden Planet, and I have no idea who any of these characters are. If you know who these characters are, uh, I'd be interested to know. Leave a leave a comment, leave a video. Um, yeah, they look very, very odd. They all look very, very creepy, very cool. Um, and then, of course, you've got the Forbidden Planet locations. If you have not been in England, these are where these comic book shops are. Um, and I'm presuming those are the phone numbers. So, yeah. Very cool, very interesting. I really, really dig this. I find it interesting there is no price anywhere on this. Um, that's a little different as far as comics go. So, well, I guess you could do that for uh, just to ship it anywhere around the world, really, and let them put their own sticker and price on it, which is kind of interesting. And I love the fact how this looks... The, it looks like old, dirty paper on the back of the book, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, kind of hard to see. But it looks old and smudged and just really old, which I really dig that. It's got a nice, nostalgic look to it, so that's very awesome. Um, yeah, the other thing is uh, I like how there's there's a Newcastle, uh, England. We have a Newcastle here in Indiana, not too far from us here. So Very cool, very nice. Um, very cool. I'm definitely going to have to board this up. This will probably go, uh, probably hang this up on my wall um, with some of the other uh, collectibles that I have that I really like. So thank you, Sean. I really appreciate you picking that up and uh, taking your time and shipping that out uh, to me. Uh, very awesome, nice, unique collectible. I'm going to go on a limb and say I am probably the only person in the Greenwood area, if not the entire Indianapolis area, who has an autographed copy of Star Trek The Next Generation Doctor Who from Forbidden Planet out in merry old England. So thank you very much for that. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
have a great week. It's a beautiful week outside. And uh, remember, I still got the contest going. We're going to wrap that up here in a few days. Uh, birthday giveaway where I'm giving some stuff away. It's my featured video on my channel site. If this is the first time looking at any of my stuff, check it out. You can win some free stuff. And again, thanks for watching and have a great week.